Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Four Wide with Declan. As always, I am your host, Declan Dunlap. We are we will be discussing NASCAR-related topics, so let's get right into it. Our first topic of the weekend, or of the week, is is Noah Gregson being reinstated by NASCAR. Noah Gregson was so Noah Gregson was originally expected to run full time for Legacy Motor Club in 2024 no 2023 and then then he he's not had the best season in it, in his like 20 races with them but the Friday but on Friday August 4th everything took a turn for the worst for Noah Gregson he liked a George Floyd meme on social media on Instagram he liked the George Floyd meme which got him indefinitely suspended and then later that week no he asked for his release from legacy motor club so this week it was announced it was announced that noah gregson after being indefinitely suspended has been reinstated by nascar and is allowed to compete in future races <clears throat> i don't know what team will give an opportunity because it was just announced last week that john hunter nemechek will be driving the number 42 and in 2024, and then Noah Gregson does not have a ride for next season. I wonder what team will pick him up. I know, I know it'll probably, it probably won't be in the Cup Series. I have an Xfinity team taking him in 2024. Our second topic is Shane Van Gisbergen, SVG. SVG is going to join Trackhouse's development program in 2024. He will be leaving the Australian so SVG will be leaving the Australian Supercar Series for NASCAR to join Trackhouse's development program in 2024. So SVG he won his debut in Chicago, and after an impressive showing, another top ten in a few races after that at Indianapolis, the next road course race on the schedule. He has left his team in Australia. Now he will be joining NASCAR in 2024 part time to race for Trackhouse, and he will be joining their development program in the Cup Series. So SVG is a very talented racer, <clears throat> very talented racer. A lot of success over in Australia in the Supercar Series, and it, he said, and then he's made two NASCAR. Three NASCAR starts, two in the Cup Series, one in the Truck Series. Remember, he made that one-off truck start at IRP a few weeks back. And then in his Cup Series, I think resume, it was a win at Chicago, then I think like an eighth or ninth at the Indy Road Course. <clears throat> so SVG, a very talented wheelman, very excited what he can to see what he can do in 2024. Our third topic is... Live Fast Motorsports pot potentially selling their charters at the end of the potentially selling their charter at the end of the 2023 season. So Live Fast Motorsports was a team founded in 2021 by Matt Tift and BJ McLeod. They've not exactly had the best resume as a team, taking uh, <clears throat> being one of the perennial backmarkers. They normally run. They normally don't. Ha they don't have the best equipment, which means they normally don't run good. Well, they work hard. They work hard, and that's all. May sometimes all you can get is a small team. I think this will be the maybe the one of the third. This will be like the third year in a row maybe that they will finish outside the top thirty three in owner points. If you do finish it three in a row, NASCAR and the France family have all right to take away your charter. So I think that's maybe what that maybe is what might happen to the Rick Ware 51 at the end of the season. But Lift Fast Motorsports might be selling their charter. And the question is with teams potentially selling charters, who will buy those charters in 2024? Can't wait to see. Can't wait to see all the drama known as silly season as it all unfolds. Our fourth and final topic is of course the Bristol preview. So the Cup Series, I have a few favorites. Kevin Harvick, 
Chris Buescher. We know how good he's done. But if there's one guy I have my eye on, it would be Chris Buescher in that number 17 to get it done this weekend. We know how good he's been this season. He won this race a season ago. Let's see him get it done. Our second, our, and then the Xfinity Series. The Xfinity Series, the the Xfinity Series. Brandon Jones finished second at Kansas. Finished second in this race last year. John Harnemacek will be maybe a guy to get it done. Cole Custer, Justin Allgaier, a few more favorites. Now for the Truck Series, some favorites: Ty Majeski, Zane Smith, Corey Heim, Grant Enfinger, a couple favorites that I have. And that does it for this week on Full Ride with Declan. Uh, as all, thanks for watching. Subscribe and bye for now.